without actually being this person myself, I can't always guess the exact mindset, but I mean, either way, a cannon is a good idea, as well as one, uh, one Templar just kind of hanging out in the mineral line. Very useful for if a ring, Raven comes in or any sort of drop especially. So, the Terran player is going to move out with a couple medevacs. We may see a drop here, which is, it looks like we are going to see. As this Warp Prism comes in, I'm not too sure. I guess, yep, okay, he's going to warp in some units up here at the top of Terran's expansion. However, the Terran player may actually attack and uh, delay that, or the Protoss player may attack and delay that before then, moving his uh, Zealot Heavy Force out to the Watchtower. And Terran is kind of backing up here, I mean, now that he's realized that, uh, well, I totally missed that fight. All those Marines did indeed, uh, indeed die. Um, however, there are many, many Marines up here. Wow, there's another attack, and I just do not even know what is going on. I should probably fast or rewind and see if I can catch that going on again. Yep, here it is, right here. Marines going in, taking out the cannon. Zealots warping in. Uh, Templar is landing. This is just a crazy battle here as the Terrans do come out on top with the medevacs able to heal up just barely. They don't have a lot of energy left. But these marauders are in here doing enough damage to the Protoss player to delay the drop a little bit. As you can see, he is not warping in anything. He is having to respond to these marauders in the base, which have now stemmed, trying to take out the Nexus. However, at this point, there are so many zealots here that he is going to have to load up in the drop ship and retreat. As meanwhile, we do have the siege tanks up here at the natural expansion coming to take out the Nexus. They've already taken out the gas, and the Protoss player at this point really doesn't have a lot that he can do, as the uh, as um, the Muslim does have his forces up here, able to scout and get a little bit of range, pull the Protoss forces in, and kill some of the Zealots with the siege tanks. So, at this point, like I said, Protoss really does not have anything that he can use to attack those siege tanks. There are no observers in the immediate area. He is building a warp prism, however, he is also trying to warp in. Whoa! That was brutal. Oh my god, that was insane. I'm glad I looked over there and saw that. That was a good 10 or 15 SCVs that just died explosive deaths. Oh, that was beautiful. You know what? I can I can go to bed happy today now, having seen that. That was, that was amazing. So you can see that quite a few of them did get very low health, but still, that was pretty damaging. Very good move. Very good counter by, uh, by Artosis. And he did push out a little bit with his uh, force. Got a nice little combination. Of, uh, it's a little bit zealot heavy, but I mean that's you know pretty much what you need to do for tanking. With you got that uh, the MMM ball. And he was able to come up here and take out the siege tanks with a warp prism. Warped in a few zealots, took out the tanks, forcing the factory to retreat and float away to the sunset. As he will see many, many probes. That actually was probably the worst time for Artosis to send those. Not that he could have known, but now you know this factory has seen that you know the Protoss does have an expansion somewhere northeast of his natural base, which happens to be the high yield, which is you know fully saturated at this point by all his probes. I believe that's actually his only income at the minute. A couple resources here, but not actually that many. As the Terran player does have a command center down here, however, he did not see this hidden tech right here as the forces dance around each other, barely missing. Just kidding, as he did, as the uh, as um, Artos is trying to feed back on the ghost, gets a couple off, however, there is still one ghost with almost full energy that is just going to be able to EMP and shut down these high Templar, as you can see, they all are, are already completely out of energy. And this battle is not going to go as Artos has wanted to, because these Marines and Marauders are just going to decimate the forces. Ghosts coming in here, knocking out the Archons, and that army is gone, ladies and gentlemen, completely annihilated. And, I mean, uh, taking a look at the income, we do still have, you know, Artosis is actually a little bit ahead in terms of economy because of this high yield, but the Terran player definitely has way more goodbye pylon way more uh way more forces on the field so he will be able to exact a lot of change in this fight as there are a couple templar here sitting on enough energy for one size storm apiece a couple more being warped in however a couple good EM emp placements will just completely negate those you can see that right there there was an emp on the photon cannons and one zealot as a beautiful side storm hits another one Oh, that's just a thing of beauty right there. I absolutely love that. As he is able to knock out one of the three ghosts. Uh, I'm sorry, four. One of the five. Wow, there's a lot of ghosts there. Um, this one brave little marine trying to take out the cannon. That was actually pretty close, though. Another side storm going down. Very beautiful placement. However, these marines are at a pretty... 
pretty decent HP boost with the sh combat shield upgrade and the medevacs healing them up, which at this point are pretty much out of energy. Probe attack! Never mind, probe retreat! As they are trying to get back into the uh, natural expansion, which now has been rebuilt providing Artosis with at least some income. I mean, he lost the high yield, man. That is going to be devastating. He had so much invested in that he warped in all those type of high Templars to uh, defend it, and still it was gone. So this one brave little zealot trying to come out here, take on the mighty Terran army. A couple additional high Templars coming out. One with enough energy to do one side storm did considerable amount of damage to the remaining Terran forces. However, they were able to drive back the Protoss high Templar and kill it indeed. So this battle, man, I mean, it's getting down to, you know, like, only a couple troops on each side. But more EMPs going down, kiting around with the ghost. Very good move by the Muslim. Very good at kiting the Zealots, even after they've used their charge. So we do have another Archon going down here. EMP hit it, knocked it down to 100 energy. But, you know, he doesn't really have enough forces to drive back the uh, the incoming Zealots, so he is going to retreat there a little bit, gather up his forces, let his energy recharge on his uh, on his medevacs. You can see they're all sitting really low right now. So he, is, he did build a couple more, got a couple more taken to the field, a couple more Marines, Marauders, and whatnot, and um, I think at this point the Protoss player is, for the most part, sandwiched in. We might see a last stand here. We do have some Photon Cannons going down. At the natural expansion, more high temp are being warped in, but I mean, at this point, the economy for uh, for Artosis is not looking good. As one side storm lands, and it looks like it's just on the ghosts who are indeed able to take one storm. So, probably not the best storm to put down, but I mean, he's got to kill those ghosts, man. He has to do anything he can to take out those ghosts because he are, he is just wrecking the Protoss forces with those. So, they're going to hang back just a little bit, recoup a little bit more. Observer coming in, checking out what is going on as uh, more EMPs are laid down. This High Templar, both of them are completely negated for energy now. They're just worthless. They're going to make it into an Archon, which I don't think he's going to have enough time to warp it in. However, he is going to use these Zealots to hold off the Terran forces long enough to get this Archon, and combined with a couple cannons, he's going to delay, the, he's gonna delay uh, the game ending just a little bit longer here. Um, I mean, I'm looking around at the forces, and I'm just not seeing, you know, anything that the Protoss can really do to come back from this. He does have one kind of, I don't know, I guess this Archon's on strike or something. He has one Archon checking out the bush, but at this point, I mean, three three Zealots and a High Templar running off of one base. There's really not so much he can do here. As he is warping in a Zealot to come in here and try to take out this expansion. And, you know, he's doing a pretty decent job, except for the fact that he's about to have 12 Marines shoved down his throat. So, I don't think anybody really likes having that happen to them, as this one Zealot did die very quickly. Terran finally did see the hidden tech down here at the 6 o'clock position. So, this is just going to be burying Artosis that much more um, in this game. So, now Artosis is pretty much left with uh, this... A couple gas refineries here. You've got, uh, you know, a little bit minimal expansion. You know, it's pretty much saturated, but at this point, it's not going to be able to really hold off, um, you know, to Muslim as he does have this expansion, which is rebuilding right here. All these forces coming in. There's one DT trying to take out these ghosts. However, the ghost is being healed and running very quickly, trying to uh, trying to live as long as possible, as it does die right there. Its arm severed off. That was kind of bloody. As he is transferring one SCV over here, does have a couple already, and a mule taken to the field. As we do have an armory up here at the base, and you can see that um, Artosis really isn't building anything right now. I mean, he's got a couple Zealots in, he's got an Archon, but, you know, at this point this factory is still running around unchecked, giving him plenty of scouting, as there is a drop in the Protoss base coming back here while the Terran force gets ready to attack from the front. As you can see, the Protoss player is getting way out of position coming to attack this uh, small threat as it is now being lifted off by the dropship as the Terran forces do come in now, um, catching the Protoss force completely off guard, out of position, and just decimates that cannon really quick. Couple ghosts in the field here. Ghosts in a very good position to uh, EMP anything that comes down that ramp, and since the factory is here, he can EMP the High Templars on the high ground as well. As these Zealots make one final push into the Terran forces, however, they are not able to do enough damage as this Archon does explode in a marshmallowy death. That's pretty much it for Artosis, man. I mean, he doesn't have any expansions left. 
doesn't have any any army to speak of. He's got a couple zealots here. Maybe he can make something with this one High Templar and these couple zealots. Maybe he can do something. I do not think so. Just kidding. They died super quick. So there goes Artosis leaving this game. Uh, like I said, this is the second game in a three-part series that I've got going up on my channel here. Um, if you like it, make sure you subscribe. I'm going to throw up the uh, third part here in just a little bit, and I'll see you guys later.